hindi ito yung visual visual What's up, internet? Nakalipas ulit ng isang taon. Another year of hardware that we can't afford. Pero masaya lang din tumingin sa specs and mag-ipon. The longer the wait, the better the enjoyment. That's what she said. Bibili ka ng PC. Most likely, kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ka kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Pakalito. Ah, Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need. Add to cart. Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Hindi ito yung usual best of list. Best GPU, best SSD, best RAM. Boring. So we'll start with the best the Critics Award, but stay to the end for our best brand of the year award. There are products that reviewers and critics dump on. Kung mahili ka sa PC, alam mo yan, sumusunod ka kay Gamer Jesus or kay Linus. May ibang products talaga na pangit. Huwag mo bilhin yan. Ba't ka gagastos para dyan? But there are some items na kahit gano'ng kapangit yung reviews, negative press, ang dami pa rin bumibili. At yung champion dun, yung NZXT H510 Elite. Reviews say walang airflow slash auto overheat yan. Customers say that's gorgeous. Critics say overpriced siya. Customers say it's beautiful. PCMR guys say it's just RGB. Customers say I want it. The H510 Elite has been a popular seller in the shop and it's not hard to see why. Its front tempered glass doesn't let air in but wow, it's a stunner. I think the 510 Elite is the classiest I've ever seen RGB in. You can see the RGB, it's not too much, and it, it just works. The, those two AR2 fans in front are just spectacular. Kudos to all of the customers at marami sila na sabi nila, wala akong paki sa sinabi ng mga critics, ito yung case na gusto ko. Because the critics are there to help you make up your mind, not to make up your mind for you. In many ways, the work of a critic is easy. We risk very little, yet enjoy a position over those who offer up their work and their selves to our judgment. Opinion nila yon, pero kung gusto mo yung isang bagay, eh di dun ka sa gusto mo, di ba? So if you fell in love with this case and bought it, congrats to you. Best of 2021. Actually, naridi siya nung 2019, pero maraming bumili nung elite sa amin nung 2021. So... Best monitors. We tried a lot of monitors this year. My primary monitor is a Bank. Rafael uses an MSI. We've carried Samsung, Gigabyte, Asus. We've reviewed the Eve Spectrum. We've had ultrawides. But yung hindi ko talaga makalimutan, the monitors that I always come back to are the Asus Tough series. Palagi ako malungkot when I have to return an Asus Tough monitor kasi ang ganda talaga ng screen quality nila. As I said in one of my reviews, the screens are almost aggressive in how bright and cheerful the colors look. Parang sinasabi nila, tingnan mo ako, tingnan mo ako, look at what I can display. If there's one item that I wish I could have kept this year, it was the Tough VG27A QL1 Alpha. But really, all of the Asus Tough monitors I tried, perfection right out of the box. Best unexpected product. To be honest, medyo dubious ako nung nakuha ko yung email asking us to review a hardware VPN. It works like a VPN, but since it's hardware that stays with you, you don't have to pay a monthly fee, and you don't need to turn over any data to a third party. Mas naging dubious pa ako lalo nung dumating yung actual product, tapos ang nipis niya. Tapos never heard of yung brand. All of these things were rolling around in my head when I actually tried out the Deeper Network Pico, but the thing works, and again, it works so well. It acts as a VPN. So nandito ako sa Pinas, pero yung show na pinapanood ko, dapat pang US lang, napanood ko, no problems. It has built-in antivirus, built-in firewall protection. Installation was super easy, and the software UI is easy enough to learn. And its value proposition is very clear. It replaces your VPN, it's cheaper than a VPN, and it just works. Best product line. It's hard to maintain the quality of one product, let alone a product spanning multiple generations. But AMD's Ryzen series did just that. Nagsimula siya sa 1000 series, and dun palang parang napansin ng mga tao na, oh, parang kakaiba to ah. The price to performance is very good, and it started taking on Intel. 
And as the generations went by nung Ryzen, it became harder and harder to recommend Intel kasi ang ganda talaga nung cost to performance ratio nung Ryzen. Yung mas amazing pa dun, hindi pa nagbago yung socket. Yung Intel, binabago yung socket every generation which is a pain in the ass for people who want to upgrade, for CPU coolers that need a new bracket, and for beginners in PC in general, kasi kailan nila intindihin pa ano ba tong socket-socket na to. Amazingly, AMD kept the AM4 socket for five generations. Yes, there were some missteps like the 5000 series initially not being compatible with B450 motherboards, but that was walked back after some public outcry. But by and large, it's amazing that AMD was able to keep the same socket for so long. Next year, we'll see the continuation of the Ryzen line, pero hindi na siya AM4. So the 5000 series is really the last hurrah of the initial AMD Ryzen series, and what a run. Finally, best brand. The whole point of a brand is that maasahan mo yung quality. Kaya ang mahal-mahal ng mga SSDs ni Samsung, kasi alam nila na alam mo, pag bilhin mo yan, hindi ka makakaproblema. Sobrang quality ng mga SSDs ni Samsung. Asus also is in that category of brands which are a bit pricey, but you know that you'll be getting quality products. And there are some brands that I really admire, like Noctua. Noctua is quality all the way. Takpan mo mata mo, pili ka lang ng item, kahit anong Noctua na mabunot mo dyan, quality yan. Plus, they really care about the customer, which is why they offer free mounting kits. Most other brands would charge you, and some have to get a replacement mounting kit if you're upgrading your CPU, but Noctua gives it away for free. So quality plus customer satisfaction. Very, very hard to beat Noctua. But for me, my best brand experience of 2021 was a brand that has great products at a great price point, and they have a wide variety of products. And that's Deepcool. Deepcool has basically everything that doesn't need a lot of chips in it. They have CPU coolers, they have mice, they have AIOs, they have cases, they have RGB converters, they have RGB fans, they have GPU brackets. I mean, you know, the, the product range of Deepcool is pretty deep. And for most of those products, the quality is at least equal to the market leaders, if not better. The AS500 Plus, which I really had fun reviewing, actually has superior performance to Noctua's venerable NHD15. And the recent AK620 has even better performance than the AS500 Plus. Plus, their stuff is always affordable. Yes, mas mura yung rack, id cooling, techware, dark flash, and fan tech. But price to performance, the value that you get from what you're paying for, it's very hard to beat deep cool. At yung gusto ko rin sa kanila, a lot of their products are widely available sa atin. Yung focus nila, Asia, hindi US or Europe. Nagkaroon nga kami ng customer, gustong gusto talaga yung AS500 Plus. Yung problema, nasa state siya. So binili niya yung AS500 Plus from Hardware Sugar, pinaship niya dun sa pinsa niya sa Laguna, tapos yung pinsa niya bahala magpadala sa states. That's how much he wanted the cooler, which he couldn't get in the States. He had to buy it from the Philippines, tapos in-import to the States. We do have quality products available to us here in the Philippines. A lot of the times, there are comparable products, hindi lang kasing sikat, nung NZXT, nung Corsair. But a lot of the times, there are comparable products which are available here. And Deepcool would be a good choice to look into. I don't agree with all of Deepcool's decisions, like their latest cases na CG540 and 560 were just so-so for me. But I can always see the logic behind their decisions. Ano yung design rationale? Ba't nila ginawa yun? I can always see the logic and I can respect their decisions even if I don't agree with them. So quality products at good prices and products that are actually available. Make Deepcool our 2021 brand of the year. Congrats guys, you deserve it. Bonus content, my best multiplayer moment of the year was in Star Wars Squadrons. People are drawn to Star Wars for different things. But I want my RGB. Stay on target. We can make it work. Stay on target. Loosen up! <laughs> Some like the clear binary distinction between good and evil. Some like the 
mysticism of the Jedi. For me, it's the space battles. The things that go pew 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 and blow stuff up. Nung bata ako, I would watch the trench run from Ep4, the original Star Wars, over and over and over again. And I and I've played all of these before in other versions. I played X-Wing on DOS, TIE Fighter on DOS, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, X-Wing Alliance. So all of the space sim Star Wars games I played. But this is really the first time I tried multiplayer. Because the way it usually works is you're on a team, you have to destroy the capital ship of the other team. And then the other team has to do that vice versa. The other people of my team, I'd never met them before. I didn't communicate because I didn't my headset. Ko nun. But everybody else was communicating. They were using phrases from the movies. Yung nga, these are all strangers online and they just came together. It, it's really something else when you're playing a Star Wars game with real people and you can hear like, I'm going in for my attack run. Or... Uh, I'm already on my way out. You know, they would go in on the cap ship and then one of them would say, you know, I have a bad feeling about this. And then you can see the TIE fighters diving in on you and you have the support guy backing up the Y-wing. And then we had an interceptor, an A-wing, who was trying to get the TIE fighters off the back of our Y-wing. And, you know, even just the role specification, like, you know, Star Wars fans know the A-wing is for interception, Y-wings are the bombers, X-wings are the kind of all-around space superiority fighter. And it sounds corny, pero ang saya lang when you're playing a Star Wars game and people are really into it in a non-ironic way, in a way na we're all fans, this is to have a good time. And you know, we would we would get beaten back a little bit and you know, but everybody was just having a good time. And this is one of the few times that I really regret not having voice um, where I could, you know, tell the team good job. Daming toxic online. If you played online games, you know that. But there are some golden moments like this na complete strangers get together. They can bond over a franchise that, you know, they, they all have love for. And the Force was with us that time and we beat the enemy team. We blew up the Star Destroyer. So one of the best moments. Uh, it came out actually 2020, but I, I was playing that in 2021. So one of my best multiplayer moments of 2021. And the last best of the year are the best fans of the year. I want to say a big thank you to all of our YouTube members. Sana past and present, pero YouTube won't show me the past ones. But regardless if you stayed with us for one month or you stayed with us since the beginning, I want to say super thank you. And the current members are Ralph Ople, Tag GMC Lag, Peniel Red Yambagon, Jenny Abasto, Don Don D5, Tim Fernandez, Marcos Rey Ignacio, Minor GPU, David Go, Rafael Claude Ismael, Zen N, ITX Addict, The Monkey Butt, Rafael James, Ian Meru, Ted Magalona, Adonis Avendano, Steelbook 07, at JV, JV Colado, BJ David, Liam Magnaye, Marvin Del Mundo, Nico Ivan Medina, Cat Shark, Ives De Ocampo, Andre Nicomides, Benj Ibanez, John Ruben Ocha, and Christian Espinosa. Times are hard now, guys, and I super appreciate that you set aside some money to send it to us to help us upgrade production quality and just generally support our mission of having cool PC parts for cool people. Merry Christmas! Let's hope 2022 will be easier on our wallets, lighter on our hearts, and more optimistic than the past two years have been. Cheers! What's up, Internet? Mahirap pa rin makakuha ng PC parts ngayon, but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, natotoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building, but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press add to cart, select your delivery option and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that EIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for.